Hello everyone and welcome back to another awesome exciting episode of CS News. As always guys, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get right into it. And announced late last night by Valve and a partnering company by the name of Polycount, there will be a CSGO finish contest going on from yesterday, May 2nd, until the 29th of May. So you have a four week period to submit your skins and community based ideas and to Polycount to actually enter the contest. You can enter as many skins as possible and how the contest is actually going to basically work in the breakdown is you can submit skins for six weapons. Now those six, six weapons are going to be the MP9, the Bison, the Deagle, the Ah, the M4A4 and the AK-47. I love their weapon choice. I love how they congested it down to six weapons. And again, you have four weeks to submit as many as you want uh, per day. So you would get unlimited chances at this. And they'll also be choosing two winners. Those two winners will have their gun skins actually featured in future cases. And a major benefit of this is they actually get the chance to make proceedings from those cases. So the top two winners are probably going to be making in the thousands of dollars and a really good income there. And again, you get unlimited chances to do that. Also, the top eight winners will get Valve goodie bags. So Valve swag bags as well they're calling them which is probably a hoodie some stuff you know probably some steam gift cards but still probably a really nice prize but those top two winners have a big chance to make some big money and again I love how they congested it down to only six weapons and they also told you the blue tier skins the purple tier skins the pinks and the red so you know what kind of skins to actually put on the guns so the deagle the mp9 and the bison will be blue tier skins so if you have a really sick design you probably don't want to put it on there then you have the op which will be a purple skin you know not too many purple skin ops out there and then you have the m4a4 which would be a pink skin Really hoping the best for this M4A4 skin. And then finally, the Covert skin, the red skin, will be the AK-47. So again, a really exciting contest here announced by Polycount and Valve. And really excited to hear this announcement. And also, actually, news coming from my comment section in yesterday's video. There's actually a petition out there to the U.S. Immigration Services about a certain player back in 2015. He's actually a Smash Bro esports player by the name of Leffen. He's one of the top Smash Bros players in the world. And back in 2015, what happened to him is he was actually deported because he was playing and sponsored by an American sponsor while on a tourist visa. Now they actually ended up deporting him because of this. He went, he needed to apply to actually get a work visa and while applying to get that work visa so he could actually be sponsored by an American sponsor, an American organization he was actually denied because apparently Smash Bros was not specified as an actual sport. Now in the past there's actually been plenty of League of Legends players who have actually gotten this work visa and attained that because League of Legends is majorly considered a sport because obviously it has a lot more attraction to it and bigger prize pools so on and so forth bigger fan base and Leffen obviously was kind of upset about this and so so this petition has been started. It needs around 57,000 signatures to actually be witnessed by the White House. So, you know, the White House here in America. And I really want you guys to try and give this as much support as possible. Let's try and make all esports recognized as sports. You know, you had those big tier League of Legends smite already recognized as sports, but let's work together here. Let's make esports great again. I guess, I don't know why that was a cheesy line, but I really want to see support on this. You know, it's not really fair how some esports are not considered sports and other ones aren't. Let's all band together here, guys. Let's make all esports recognized as a official sports which would be a great thing. I know a bunch of you guys are gonna say well Jake esports aren't technically sports. I know a lot of you guys probably think that but this is for the better you know just so all these players if you guys actually are a fan of esports even if you don't think it's an actual sport signing this petition or at least offering it some sort of viewership and actually getting it some somewhere out there in the world would show that you guys actually support esports in general even if you don't think it's a sport this would help a lot of players out there that are unfairly not getting their work visas so that's why I shared this story. Oof, I want you guys to know I just went outside for about 30 minutes it was scary as heck. I was running like crazy. Never doing that again. And in short news for all you American CSGO fans like myself, Complexity has made yet another change to the roster. They will be replacing the player formerly known as Shinobi, otherwise known as Josh, with a guy by the name of Android X23. Yes, that's his in-game name. When he sat down to decide his CSGO name, he actually typed in Android X23, which really does not fit the rest of the team. But yes, Complexity has made this change before E-League coming up. I'm really interested to see what other teams are going to change their rosters as well before E-League. As you guys know, that starts in about three weeks' time, so you can expect some more roster changes in the future, hopefully from some big teams as well. But yes, Complexity lineup will now consist of Android, Sanks, Depp, Whitmer, and Surreal. So for all of you guys American fans out there, one of the most highly underrated teams probably going into this, and probably for good reason, as their only win as of late against the TSM American team, and also B's money crew are their notable wins. So Complexity, one of those teams that's going to be largely underrated going into the E-League, but hopefully going to come out, you know, somewhat with at least a few wins, I hope. You guys ever had someone, like, this is delicious. I would not mind being sponsored by a food company. And before we get into our closing stories for today on CSGO News, thank you guys all so much for smashing that like button in the last episode. 
I honestly had no idea we we're gonna get that many likes. We're already over 2,000, approaching 3,000 likes, which is incredible to think about. So thank you guys so much for that. And I'm really worried because a lot of the comments were like, I'm liking the video, Jake, but I don't want you to do drugs. I don't want you to fail your finals. So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it, but I will keep up my end of it. So for those of you guys who are actually worried about me, it's Advil PM. So it's not some like prescription drug, hardcore drug. It's not some heavy sedative. The most it's gonna do is make me drowsy. You guys will see that in tomorrow's video because by the time I'm actually finished with this video, my final won't be till tonight. So you guys will see me taking this before my final tomorrow um, in tomorrow's video. So again, thank you guys all so much for the support in that. Do not be worried for me. I will be okay. Then on Twitter, apparently Fetish, an old Dignitas player known for his time there, actually quit about 2015, came back for a little bit and actually left again. Fetish came out on Twitter for a short time being. No one actually got a screenshot on this, at least none that I could find. And he said he was going to be replacing Kerrigan on Team Astralis for the E-League. Apparently it was all just trolls though. His account actually got hacked and he forgot to log out of it. So apparently that was a troll. Kind of a weird thing there, kind of skeptical how that all happened. But then he also came out on Twitter and actually was him tweeting out this. He said important news coming out in a day or two. So apparently he might be coming back to coach. He might be coming back to play. More, th more than likely he's probably going to come back to coach. Someone also made chance to ask him if he's actually going to come back to coach Dignitas, obviously his former team. That would make the most sense. He replied no, but of course you can never really trust what people say on the internet. So it's really going to be cool, cool to see if Fetish actually comes back to play CSGO or if he just comes back to coach. Either way, going to be kind of a weird thing. You have all these former players trying to come back. It'll be weird to see if he actually can come back in full force. And again, I do expect him probably to be a coach and not an actually a role player. And that's going to do it for today's CSGO news, guys. Most importantly, though, I'm going to be doing a Q&A with my sister, my twin sister, Jenny, pretty soon here. And now that we have a lot of people commenting down below, make sure to leave your question down below. Now, you can also leave a different comment. I'm not going to reply to your questions as of right now, but please leave a question down below in the comment section that you would want to ask me or my twin sister, Jenny. Again, she's my twin sister. We were in the womb together for nine months. So make the questions interesting. Don't make them weird. I... You guys are probably going to make them weird anyway. But as always, guys, live, love, laugh a lot. I have a lot of things planned for the future. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, remember, I, like you, I'll see you in a couple days in another CSGO News video and my Advil PM video tomorrow. Hope you all enjoy. Until then, goodbye.